Guten Tag and welcome and welcome back to Der Club. Today we have a uh, UEFA Champions League match against Chelsea, which I kind of expect we're going to get ass kicked. And if we go quickly, uh, I think we're going to try to get in one league match as well. Uh, we're going to just see how it goes. We'll take a look at where we are right now in the overall standings for the league and uh, play a quick match. So let's get to it. All right, as you can see, right now we are in seventh place. We haven't had a great run of form lately, but, uh, you know, this is, we're supposed to be top half, so we're, we're still right where we need to be. Uh, within the European Champions Cup, clearly we're getting our butts kicked. You saw the last match against Sporting, so right now two games played, two losses, minus three goal differential. We need to be in the top two anyway. Wasn't likely. Not with Chelsea and Paris Saint-Germain there, so... Uh, today we have Chelsea, who's in first. So yeah, that will not go great. We still have a match against BMG coming up. Um, as far as our German Cup, I do, BMG kind of whooped us, I think, when we played them last. Yeah, we lost 0-2 to them. That was our last match played. Last match you saw was a Sporting. Uh, since then, we beat Hoffenheim 2-0, and we lost to BMG 2-0. So, you know, Ollie managed to get the two goals against Hoffenheim. Um... Oh, I take it back. Actually, we did watch that one because I screwed up the sporting audio. That, that's right. So, so you've essentially seen everything that's important. Uh, so today, I think we're going to try to do the match against Chelsea. And then maybe one... Maybe we'll do Chelsea and BMG. I'll, I'll play the Freiburg match in between real quick. So let's go ahead and get going then. Let's take a look at the squad as it stands right now. Uh, for... The champion stuff, uh, Milos and Cipolletti are not available because we couldn't get enough people in. And that's the dog going nuts as somebody comes home. So, <laughs> quick pause. Uh, anyway, uh, otherwise not a whole lot change. We've got Tommy Gordon as striker. We've got uh, Choi and Oli as attacking midfielders. Uh, Alejandro Kamada and Vega in our midfield. Restrepo, Sonogo, uh, Carabalios, and Noda there. And I've been meaning to swap Andre back in as goalie. Uh, Carlos Pastor hasn't played spectacular 6.8 in the last five. Uh, Andre's played a 7.04 in his last five. So that's what we're going to go with. Hit continue. We will see how it goes. Uh, let's see. This is German. Uh, European Champions Cup. So uh, Juventus beat Gelsen, Kirschen. So be anything. Oh, Man United crushed Copenhagen. Uh, other than that, no. Well, well, Napoli lost to, to. I guess that's a little bit of an upset. Well, Madrid over now. I guess not. I take that back. Take it back completely. Arsenal beat Olymp uh, Olympiacos 2 0 as well. So well, it was the day before. Sorry, I thought it was on the right day. We've changed the green screen around a little bit, so now I get to look, you know, this way. So we'll see how that works. Uh, Scandinavia, South America, Chelsea, fitness test. Uh, we could play Torres. It looks like he is ready to do whatever we need him to now. Uh, people want to go out on loan. Match preview. All right, team selection. Do we we have Torres in as our sub? We want to play him today. We're not really expecting to win. We'd like him to get some more game time. And uh, the Mexican uh, international coach was there watching our one of our last matches, and uh, the comment was, without Torres getting any time, he might get dropped from his Mex from his international duties as well. So um, let's go ahead. We're going to stick him in for Carabalios. And we will see how that works. Submit team. We've got to keep his um, development, you know, on track as well. So got the trusty invisible cup. Chelsea have enough. Yeah, I would probably agree. So for some reason, continue doesn't pop up for me unless I do this. So we're set for key two D customer replays. Yep. Uh, not the best weather. Eh, it's probably better for us. Let's make sure we are on something, we are on defensive. What are our instructions? Uh, hit early crosses, be more expressive. I 
I'm not sure what our third one is. Mix crosses. I don't know. It says we've got three of them, but I'm only seeing two there. I, maybe I slowed down pace. Is that... No, that's normal for where I'm at. No idea. No idea. And it, it's not telling us either, so continue to opposition. Apply advice. That's probably a few too many hard tackles. We don't want to get sent. Everybody gets sent off. Uh, underdogs. Nobody's buying that you should, you should look like you care, even though you probably don't. No to working hard there on the corner for the initial little bit. Now we see how it goes. Um, Roma's already up one nothing on Shakhtar. Shakhtar. AC Milan is up over Barcelona. Oh, no, sorry, Barcelona's up on AC Milan, one nothing. I have to, this is probably going to be the more interesting. Oh, now Shakhtar scored too. And notice booked. That hard work is already working against us. Oh, they fling up to Martin. Missed the tackle. He comes screaming in. Is three going to get there? Oh, yes, he did. That uh, should be Sonogo. Yep. I did try to get the numbers closer to what is considered acceptable for soccer. Um, it's not exactly right. There's too many weird, obscure rules that date back forever that... Clearly, I didn't think we're important. We just started with the goalie of one and worked our way up. I did give Suarez eight since that's apparently the, the playmaker number. So, you know, we did two, three, you know, four, five across the back, but then we did six, seven, eight the other direction. Um, alrighty, that was a little bit unexpected. Very uneventful for the half. Andre's played great. Uh, Choi and Oliver haven't really done much. Um, let's go ahead. We'll we'll put in a um, we'll put in a Nuka. And uh, yeah, we're doing okay. I I take a draw. I mean, at least it, we're not going anywhere in this group anyway. So, but it'd be nice to not lose every single match. Torres to Noda. What's he got with it? Is he going to come up on the right? Oh, no. Got taken away. Martin comes screaming in. Sonogo was there. Slowed him up enough. He just took the shot. Wide left. Oh, we're going to see it because it was a chance. Ah, oh, Martin just completely made... Who was that? Torres looked bad there. But you know what? That's where we started, Torres. Get him a little more experience. Oh, here we go. Gomez feeds it in. We got it out. Oh, Nuka had it for a second. He manages to block the second attempt to pass it in, though. They do get into the middle. Laporte, Martin, Malcolm. Altish back out to Malcolm. Tries to feed it in. Noda blocked it. And that's it. He's going to get probably kicked out here. He's already on a yellow. Are we going to get lucky here? Nope. Nope. Not going to get lucky. We should have known better. Um, which of our attacking midfielders has played worse? Choi. Bring him back. Now we'll swap him out for uh, Mr. Hoyt. Bring him back to support. Yep, I think that's going to be it. Vega fix it into Torres. It was a way downfield. Christensen's kind of unopposed back there, so he's able to go all the way back and get it, and they feed it back in. Out to Andre. Kicks it up to Giordano. Martin had it, but it got cackled away. Oh, Malcolm had it just unopposed there, but Andre manages to hang on to it. And now we get to see it again, because it's a chance. Wasn't a spectacular uh, save or anything, but it was a good save. It was a solid save. It just wasn't much of a shot, I guess, was the problem. Martin manages to flick it up. Oh, it was just a, a kind of a easy header in. All right. 55 minutes down. Well, that wasn't good. That was about less than a minute between highlights of them on the attack. Report to Baltish. Over to Andre. 
Giordano. Back into Andre. Martin. Bermini. Ah, oh, there we go. Brahim. Brahimi? Look, Brahimi. And the first goal. Too much to ask for that nil-nil tie, especially once Noda got sent off. Good attempt from Andre. Over 66. Not much else going on. We haven't played terrible. In fact, we've played pretty well. I mean, Torres has a 7.2, Sonogo a 7.1. Uh, essentially, it's our offense that was letting us down and, and getting the man sent off, but nobody's played poorly. Andre's back down to a 6.9 after giving up that goal, but I don't really think that one was his fault so much. Kamada. Oh, we toss it up to Gordon, but he's not quick enough to get back on it to Laporte. And to be fair, it didn't look like he tried. It'd been nice if he would have. I think he was quick enough to get it. He just didn't want to put in the work. Oh, block one attempt in there. Back to Giordano. He flicks it in. Oh, a couple. That was a good save by Mora. Morera. I have a lot of trouble with his name. That's the number one reason I, I don't play as much, I think. Malcolm kicks it in. Johansson puts it over the net. Maybe we'll see that initial save there by, by Andre. Nope. Nope. We're not going to see that one. Wasn't considered a good enough chance, even though it was a much better save. I'll do a quick little... Oh, I should have one sub left. Um, it's like Kamada's probably the most tired. We'll put in Gustafsson. That'll be our third save. Or our third sub, excuse me. You know what I'm saying. Oh, do we get a chance at it here, Hoyt? Into Anuka? Into Gordon again. It didn't look like Gordon really tried all that hard. Torres got ahead on it, flicks it back. Malcolm has... Oh, Torres takes it away from him again over to Vega. Suarez. Up to Gordon. Oh, Laporte takes it away. Gordon just doesn't look like he gives a crap this match, to be honest. Restrepo, can he fling it up? Oh, he lost it. Johnson over to Martin. Charging in, kicks it all the way to Brahimi. Over to Malcolm. Easy shot for Malcolm. Nothing Andre could do. He came out to challenge, but there's just too much of the net available. All of our guys are clustered around back there on the on the wrong side. Three more minutes to kill. Again, Gordon doesn't even make an attempt. Oh, that was a good save by Andre. I wasn't. I was sure that that was just going in. I wasn't even talking because I was didn't think it was worth narrating. It was going to go in so quickly. Another save by Andre. They've got 24 shots on goal so far this match. Um, hard. Oh, Torres missed another tackle. Rahimi tries the head. Andre gets up, puts a hand, puts it back up over the net. Leads up to Restrepo, Suarez. I don't know why nobody wanted to get that pass. The pass looked like it was okay. We had two guys standing there. Just neither of them felt like getting it. Feeds it into Brahimi again. That was whoever screwed up that pass in there refused to take it. That's whose fault that was. Now we'll just... I was going to give him a, a concentrate. I'm not I'm not upset that we're losing, but this, this break down here at the end, Torres tries again for the tackle. He just misses it. But at least he made the attempt, unlike our center midfielders and Gordon. Nope, just doesn't care, not making the attempt. Again, and passes like that are just, they're, they're just absolutely horrible. You know, you can go any direction. There's only one, only one dangerous direction, and they very carefully place it there. Hey, there's a guy three feet away from you. Let me pass it directly to him. You'd think that would be the easy stuff to avoid. That was good, good block there. Onuka's got it. See, look at that. And then he plays it really tentatively back there. It's just a horrible, horrible pass by Onuka. I think he is um, going to stay out of my starting lineup. 
That was pretty horrible by Hoyt, too. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I was going to let him off the hook for that loss, but uh, that end was terrible. Uh, we're just going to say, I mean, the real answer is don't be silly, but um, how did the ref? 6.7. I don't know. I don't know. A little bit disappointed. Like I said, I didn't expect to win, but... All right, I'm going to, uh, we'll give him a warning. And he accepts it, because he's, he's, he's quality. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play this next game real quick, and then we will be back for the, uh, the cup match. All right, so we've gone ahead, we've played our match against Freiburg. We were a bit unlucky. Noda managed to force an own goal pretty early in that match, uh, three minutes in. After that, we got three clear-cut chances and five half chances. I think they had one half chance and like seven shots overall, and yet we didn't win. So uh, we just weren't able to finish, as, as usual. Uh, and again, Tommy Gordon had a kind of another subpar game. Doesn't look like he's trying too much. It may be that he's jaded. He has been playing some international matches. Uh, I may just have to give him a rest, maybe for, I don't know, maybe for the Chelsea match, to be honest, because, look, we get to play Chelsea twice in a row as far as, as, far as champions go. And and we're out of that at this point, so there's, there's really no no big rush. I mean, it does look like, you know, we did away, home, away, home, home. Away. I guess that's not terrible. I was going to say, kind of got hosed with two out of three in the home, but, it, I mean, away, home, home, you know. Every other, you can't really fault too much. So, anyway, uh, so yeah, maybe we'll rest him for that one. But for now, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead. We we played Torres for a couple matches. Let's bring uh, Snogo in, flop them back the way I want them. Choi. Uh, I don't know. Anuka just played so badly last time. I think we'll try Gustafsson and, and, and Choi. Not that Choi's been great. I think that's our next big splurge. Um, next season, maybe we'll pay $15 million for an advanced midfielder. You know, we, we bought Tommy Gordon last time. I think our defense is, is fine, to be honest. We don't, we don't give up a whole lot. Um, Is he not? Is he really not that? Huh. I wonder why they believe his role ability is so poor for that. Central defender. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess not that those numbers are huge. You know, his teamwork is 18. His jumping reach is 19. Strength is 17. I mean, those are some pretty big numbers. I guess aggression's a little bit low. There's a couple of 11s in there, but I don't know. It seems a little... 13, 12, 11, 13, 19, 17. It seems to me that's that should be slightly higher, too, but okay. Whatever, you know. I just... This, this doesn't seem to be quite accurate, but that's okay. Anyway. I do have the mic unmuted. Yes, yes. I looked at it. And I couldn't. I didn't remember if solid light or blinky light was muted. Uh, I believe BMG have enough. Yes, we are at home. But uh, we haven't been playing very well. They've been. They played. Uh, lost their last match as well. We're gonna go up to. I think to a counter on this one. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, our third uh, instruction, by the way, was to mark more often, or mark sooner, or whatever, whatever it is. So, you know, because we're playing, def because our mentality is more on the defensive side, our defensive line is back farther, but we start, start marking and pressing up a little bit earlier. 
hopefully using our the decent defense of some of our midfield uh, centers. All right, they booted all the way up to Smets, who probably headed it over, but Sonogo gets it back to Andre, up to Choi, who doesn't able isn't able to control it. Silva out to Delgado on the on the wing. Restrepo takes it away. What has he got? He manages to dribble past out to Choi into the middle to Gordon. What's he going to do? All the way up to... Oh, that was a nice pass to Choi. He's breaking. He's got people flying in. He puts it off the goalie, and we are up one nothing with 17 minutes in. Looked like it was kind of a hard shot in. Hubel was unable to control. Choi's angle is rapidly going down. Yep, Hubel just... He got a hand on it, but he just couldn't hang on to it. Well, you know, we've been waiting for, for Choi to do something for us. Um, and he hasn't been great. Restrepo takes it away again. Manages to hang on. Avoid the tackle. Up to Choi again. Out to Restrepo. Back to Suarez. All the way up to Gordon. Too many people there, but Kamada gets it back to Choi, who passes out to Vega. Suarez out to Noda. He pumps it in, but there's nobody there. Choi maybe got a head on it. Uh, but that one was an easy one to control, and Hubel grabs it. Kicks it back out. We have been on the attack so far. Suarez out to Noda. Noda's going to be out for the next match, uh, the Champions Cup match as well, because of his suspension for his red card. So we know we're going to be short his services as it is. So maybe we put Kappa in for that match. We'll have to see. There'll be one. Oh, that was, that was bad. Smets is there. He manages to throw it out to Albrocht. Delgado. Super short angle, just barely rolls it across the line there. But it counts. I'm not sure it was great vision. I think it's he just ran out. That was the last possible moment he could do it. Gets a head on it. Up underneath the, the top the crossbar. Down and in. Good play. Their uh, conditioning is not very good. I mean, most half their team is, you know, kind of low 60s already. We might want to pay attention to that. Maybe we can go attacking later on in the match. Oh, up to Gordon. So he can actually try to do something this time. He goes up, gets a shot. Hubel manages to get a foot on it, maybe. Kicks it wide. Gives us a corner, though. See if we can make something happen. Choi feeds it in. Oh, it bounced around for a little while and got cleared out to the side for a throw-in. Noda tosses into Vega, back to Noda. Feeds it into Gordon, Gordon to Kamada, all the way out to Choi, who slides another one in from that side. That's two goals this match for Choi. Second goal of the season, second goal of the match. I think Kamada maybe gets the assist on that one. We'll find out here. Gordon, Kamada. Well, Kamada puts it in. Hubel makes a great save. Choi picks up the deflection. Hubel's not able to get back over and, and stop that one. Yeah, they gave Kamada the assist, although it was more just a failed attempt. Suarez, Kamada. Oh, that Vega just puts it in hard. That was nice. Looked like maybe he got blocked by somebody. It ended up at, at, at Vega's feet, and, and he, he wants to be a shooter. We've got him on shoot less because... Yep, deflection right to Vega. Puts it in. Vega wants to shoot. He shoots a lot. That's why we've got him on a shoot less often command. And look at their, look at their conditioning. More than half their teams at 61 or under. Gordon kind of dribbles in, puts a weak shot in on Hubel. They had five shots. We've had three clear-cut chances, four half chances. They've had one of each so far. And I'm guessing one of those was the goal. Swore's out to Choi. So we got a... Oh, this was just the, the missed shot by Gordon, or the weak shot by Gordon. Pretty easy for Hubel to handle. Yeah, they're, man, their conditioning is just not good. We may want to up the pace. Um, Carbalios is the only one that hasn't played great. Probably the goal was his responsibility. Everybody else is fine. Choi's up to a nine. Gustafsson hasn't played spectacular. Hasn't been bad. Let's go ahead. We're going to put Ollie back in. We're going to go to instructions. And we're going to increase the pace up a little bit here. I think we're going to turn off early crosses. There we go. I think we're going to try to use our, our superior conditioning. We're already up 
3-1. Let's try to run him into the ground. Hopefully the extra pace isn't going to cause us to make too many mistakes. Their defense especially is just gassed already. I mean, they've got 30 minutes left to play and, and they're not looking good. There they are, already dripping into the 50%. Noda has a throw into Ollie. Back to Noda. Noda across, not able to get it through. Caraballos is there, though, to keep control, keep it in the zone. Noda, again, a bad pass into Ollie. Sonogo somehow manages to intercept a, a terrible pass on their part. Choi out to Suarez. I don't know what was that. It was just, he just didn't see the guy there and walked into him. Oh, Delgado's got it. That's not what we want to see. Puts it in. Andre's able to deflect it out. They'll get a throw in here. Looks like they're playing the back post. They went charging in. Nothing happened. Noda's got it. He should be able to dribble most of the way down. Feeds it up to Choi instead. Can Choi get it across? Oh, a foul. I think he was going to throw it into Kappa there. Let's see what happens. Kamada with the free kick. Nothing happens. Kamada gets the deflection back. Throws it out to Sonogo to kind of reset, get everybody in position. And I, I guess that's the end of that highlight. I'm not sure what we're looking at here. Oh, we're going way back to Delgado's run here. Okay. That was all considered one highlight, so we had to wait for that replay. I mean, look at their defenders. 57. Let's, let's pause real fast. We're going to go up to the attack. Realistically, we should just be backing off and playing defensively. But we're up 3-1. We can, we can give them maybe one if we have to. You know, I've said before that a two-goal lead is... You know, a really terrible lead because people start to feel confident and they shouldn't. Gordon gets a shot in. Hubel's able to deflect it. Gordon just hasn't been sharp lately. Again, I'm thinking maybe he needs a game off. Choi feeds it in. Moa was able to get it. Just boots it out for a... Uh, this is probably up to the, the Gordon shot, such as it was. He put a little something on it. He will have to work to get that one. But he was able to clear it. Restrepo takes it, feeds it up to Gordon. Gordon wasn't able to get control of it, so they kick it away. Choi's got it back over to Ollie, who kicks it back up to Gordon. Gordon's running past all the guys. There we go. That's what we need. Get him off the schneid. He's got a goal. Number one, Hubel doesn't even move. Just watches it go past. This is what I was talking about. We've worn down their defense. They can no longer run with Gordon. Hubel comes up, just watches it goes past. Knows he doesn't have a shot at that one. We are up 4-1. We're beginning to get a little tired. Let's go ahead. We will make a sub. Uh, Restrepo's getting, getting gas. Let's put in Shun. And... Noda... Whoops, no, not Andre. Noda for Hoyt. We're going to confirm that. Sella just got booked. And we've gone a little bit more defensive, and in fact, I think I'm going to knock us back down to counter. Too late. Flex Smets got the deflection in. 4-2 them. It's okay, we've, we've still got two. That feeds it out to Cajombo, who doesn't quite see it, but manages to get over there. Smets put a head on it. Andre's not able to get up high enough. Man, their defense is just gassed. Into the 40s. Maybe we should have just kept attacking. I would think on counter, though, we should still be able to put one up here and there, and that's match. 4 to us. BMG, by the way, had the best home form in the cup uh, going into this, but they had to come to our home, and that didn't work for them. So, we win, and we, ha we had to win. Uh, I think we're going to be pleased with that. Continue to the post-match analysis. Uh, Suarez, our key player, 7.2. Their key player, 6.4. Choi was our player of the match with a 9.1. The ref had an Excellent game with a 9.3, 16 shots versus 11. We had a slight advantage in possession. Fouls, uh, slight advantage, but we had them on their back foot. Their guys were tired. That, that's where those fouls come from. Uh, player stats. Uh, goals for the day. Five goals? 
maybe this is overall overall goals in the competition tommy gordon with four goals now within the competition which is why they're showing it to us he is essentially i guess tied for third um with brill behind Iker and emmanuel oh emmanuel change i don't think emmanuel was with dusseldorf last year he might have changed teams no, he's been with Dusseldorf all along. Maybe there's another Emmanuel I'm thinking of. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that went well for us. Let's go ahead and leave the match real fast and see what they tell us. Uh, we get an extra $276,000. We win in the German Cup second round. Choi is on fire. Let's hopefully uh, superb in front of the net. Let's go ahead and take a look at our standings for the moment. We are all but out of this despite three more matches to play. However, we continue on in the cup, which is good because our board expectation was to reach the third round. Uh, we were just supposed to reach the group stage for champions, and we've done that. Uh, and top half for board confidence. We're just hanging on in ninth place. 14 points, but you know what? One win away would be 17 points. That could leap us all the way up to Leverkusen. So it's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. Uh, I mean... 10 to 16, that's two wins right there from 15th to 6th place. So this whole middle section is pretty close. Uh, Dortmund and Bayern are beginning to separate. Uh, they're pulling away from RBL. And at the back here, uh, Dresden, Ingolstadt, and Stuttgart are beginning to separate and pull away from the rest of us down there. So, you know, a win for them is really one position. Everybody else, one win could jump you up significantly or one loss could drop you significantly. So uh, we're kind of we're kind of ending up with our middle pack right now. We kind of know you know, kind of RBL to, to down as far as Cologne at this point. I mean, uh, not, I guess there's 10 points there, but, you know, only six points from Leverkusen down to Cologne. So uh, maybe these four are going to run away with it and the rest of us are kind of play for fifth place. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit like. If you hated it, hit dislike. Feel free to share. Leave some comments. Let me know how we're doing. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. We will see you next time. Tschüss.